Hey everybody, Amy here, 100 plus, Abandoned Dogs of Everglades, Florida. I'm driving. <laughs> I am in between. I just left the rescue house about half an hour ago, um, came home. And then I got a call from our wonderful friend um, and supporter, Robin, who takes Albert home um, in the evenings to give him a break. So uh, she's about 10 minutes away, so I'm running back to open up and let Albert get out um, and give him a break and uh, hand him off to Robin, where he gets to sleep all cozy with a person instead of being in that room alone so my phone is um, hands-free I have a little um, gadget on my dashboard so don't worry um, I'm focusing on the road but I wanted to take this opportunity to update everybody on uh, Mickey uh, as you know we rescued Mickey from the Miami Dade Animal Services kill shelter yesterday he was to be killed at 5 o'clock last night uh, paralyzed uh, in excruciating pain along with the dog Missy that we rescued. Missy's doing great other than needing a dental, a couple of extractions. Um, she's fantastic. So two amazing saves yesterday. Um, I'm very proud of our team. Uh, we were not we were not prepared to take on a, a high case, um, high expensive case for as a Mickey. Um, we rushed him to Coral Springs yesterday where uh, we were hoping the neurologist was there because they have one and they have an MRI, but unfortunately they did not have uh, a neurologist over the weekend and that was the only person that could actually do the MRI. Um, so I immediately was spinning and spinning and I reached out to Dr. Wong's office in Miami, sorry, speed bump, um, and I got us in today at noon uh, with Dr. DePompa, who I adore and respect. He's done two surgeries great success. Um, they immediately brought him back, uh, got him on pain management because he was in horrible pain. They did not give him pain meds this morning from Coral Springs because they didn't want to do anything. They knew he had an appointment. Um, so he was in excruciating pain. Um, <clears throat> and they rushed him back to do the MRI immediately. They found he had a ruptured disc between T11 and T12. They went right into surgery. Um, they removed the ruptured disc. And let's just say that Mickey had a wonderful success with the surgery. He is in recovery. He is resting very, very comfortably. Um, we are so, so happy. We are so pleased to know that he is going to be a happy two-year-old little boy with a great, great future ahead of him. Um, we do also, I'm here at the rescue house, so I'm parking, um, waiting for Robin to pull up. We do also have to follow up because his liver enzymes are really elevated, so we do have to have a follow-up appointment with our specialist, Dr. Cannon at Lauderdale Veterinary Specialist, and do an ultrasound and see what's going on with that. But as of right now, um, I will tell you that I, I am so grateful. First of all, I want to uh, say thank uh, you to each and every one of you. You guys rock like I can't even put into words. When we beg and plead, you are right there for us, whether it's a dollar, 20, 200, 500. Um, I can't say thank you enough to each and every one of you. And I really hope you understand when I say thank you, how much I mean um, with those words, because they're not just words. Um, knowing that this little boy Mickey is not dead in a body bag as Tiffany was explaining because that is truly where they end up in a landfill. Um, this little boy is really deserving and um, it's just it really breaks my heart that it is the old mighty dollar the piece of paper that allows us to save all these helpless innocent little souls um, but he's a two-year-old little Maltese and he so deserved this chance at a wonderful life. He does have a long road ahead of him, eight weeks of cage rest. Um, I'm gonna put out this plea once again to everybody that's watching. I mean, we are in Fort Lauderdale, Oakland Park area, and we um, really need a foster for him. I do not wanna put him in a cage in the lobby, um, you know, 
I know we're here a lot of hours, but it's he would do great in a calm home. Um, if somebody could, you know, help out with fostering for eight weeks with him, um, it's really easy. It's cage. It's feeding him in his cage. It's taking him out a few hours in between, carrying him out. He weighs what eight, ten pounds, if that, um, and just putting him down on the grass and letting him do his business, picking him back up and putting him back in the cage. Um, he can't go for walks, he can't run, he can't do any interacting with any other animals, but we're searching desperately uh, for a foster for him. There, there has to be somebody out there. Uh, we've had no offers for this little boy for a foster for him to recuperate, and that's what our plea is. There has to be somebody out there in a quiet home. Um, but back to thanking everybody. Um, we are not there yet, guys. We're about 1500 1800 away from covering the uh, cost of his surgery, which was 8000 and change. Um, we still, you know, the money that we put up for Coral Springs, we did not recover. I believe that was almost 2000 or 16 1800 I don't know. They could add the discount and maybe give us a little bit back. So, But we're still a little ways away, and I would love to be able to cover the total surgery for him so again I am asking and it's not for me it's for these dogs so that we can give them everything that they need and give them this chance at a, at a life and not dead being killed in a cold sterile room because he had a slipped disc or a ruptured disc t11 and t between t11 and t12 he probably jumped off a couch or he jumped off a bed um, it happens. It's nobody's fault. Um, it happened to my own dog, and he didn't even jump off a of bed. I think he was. He doesn't jump off of anything. I think he just was playing rough one day and <clears throat> maybe popped a disc. Um, it happens to people. So we're not here to blame anybody. It's very sad that the family could not afford the cost, and they had to surrender him um, to the shelter. Um, I'm sure you know that was not an easy decision. <clears throat> there are a lot of people out there that don't have the funds financial to you know cover these things um, but I am so very very happy. The dog is now recovering um, probably will be there at Dr. Wong's office in Miami for a couple of days I'm not sure I will call later this evening and find out um, <clears throat> but please everybody you know, reach in, reach down deep, donate something, give up a cup of coffee, $5, whatever. It all adds up. <clears throat> I got an envelope today, an envelope from a woman with $2 in it, two bills. And, you know, that, that means so much. It says so much. I mean, there's somebody that's on a fixed income um, and she put $2 bills in an envelope and mailed it to us. So I'm going to put the PayPal link up again. Um, I'm sorry. I, I, I'm not sorry. <laughs> I don't know what I am, but um, I know it's a lot when we beg and beg and beg. <clears throat> um, and, you know, I've heard, heard people say, oh, there goes Amy again with her videos begging again. You're damn straight. I'll beg all day and night because I have a zero. When I say zero pride to beg for these dogs, I have no other option. There is not a money tree hanging out our rescue house, and there's not some rich person that is offering us thousands and thousands of dollars to cover the cost to save these lives. So I have nobody else to ask but you. You are our family. You were a village and together we are making such a difference in so many lives, over 4,000 to be exact. Um, yeah, right. Stacy, beg away, beg away. Um, Cindy Bear. uh, she had her, she said her daughter had to put her dog down because of a ruptured disc. So Robin's here. I'm going to go in and I'm getting Albert, breaking him out. Um, but I wanted to update everybody. I'll put the PayPal link up. And again, thank you. Mickey is great so far. Let's keep those prayers coming, the donations coming for Mickey. And please, please, please donate what you can. Love you guys so much. This is Amy signing off 100 plus abandoned dogs of Everglades, Florida. Thank you so very, very, very much. I can't thank you enough.